Keith didn't know I mildly disliked him. He also didn't know I was rubbing Crisco on his back. Does it smell like pie crust? That's the rhododendron, Keith. Everybody knows they smell like pie when they bloom. Hey, nice new watch, JD. Thank you. It wasn't a watch. Now that Elliot had gotten serious with Keith, I needed to get tighter with Turk. And since he's so busy being married and trying to make a baby, I had only one option. Come in, brown bear. I got us watchy talkies. Hey, white shadow. That's not my handle. <sighs> hey, gizmo. Right on. Hey, what are you doing, man? I'm about to take out the slip and slide. Let's do it. Dude, I can't. It's baby making time. How's it going with Keith? Awesome. Check this. Bacon back. Classic. It's done. You ready to fertilize an egg? That was amazing, baby. I've never felt so close to you. Oh, me too. <sighs> Turk. Were you not done cuddling, honey? Because I was thinking maybe we could go over to JD's half acre, put a blanket down, you can lie in my lap while I stroke your hair. Real reason, Turk. JD has a slip and slide, and I want to show off some of my slamming new moves. I call this the captain. Right? And then on, wait, the dolphin. I swear, Turk, sometimes I think you and JD are more of a couple than we are. How do I have known you longer? <sighs> hey, Gizmo, can you check on Mr. Jensen for me? No problem, brown bear. Are you nude right now? Yeah! How'd you know? Your voice is always higher when you're nude. <laughs> It's not weird that you know that at all. I might be sterile. Oh, honey, stay calm. Nobody knows but us. You firing blank, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I was just glad to watch TV and for once not be in a world of crap. Why didn't you stand up for me? Or not. Attending switch schedules all the time, JD. You switched last week and I totally defended you. You know what's really going on here? You don't like Keith. Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. Thanks, JD. You're a great friend. At least you're not sterile. Amen to that, sea bear. I'm having a rough morning, brown bear. How you doing with your sterility? Uh, I can't really talk about that right now. I'm in an elevator. Not reading you, brown bear. I repeat, are you still this is so juicy, I feel dizzy. Stupid watchy talky. Come in, brown bear. Come in, brown bear. If you're around, I'm having some Java out front. This is going to be fantastic. Hey, JD. This is the black surgeon that you always hang out with. Coming outside the ramp, dog. Any second. Any second now. Uh, hey, Turk. I forgot I can't raid the freezer with you. Be careful in there. They lock mm. it up in three. Oh! This is the <gasps> I had finally won one. Since there were 12 surgical residents at Sacred Heart fighting for four attending spots, Turk was ass-kissing the senior staff. Oh, damn. I left my briefcase upstairs. Excuse me a second. Turk thought he was the only one who heard that. He was not. I had no idea that there were that many Asian instructions in this hospital. I got your back, T Dog. Then let it begin.
everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids will last as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But they all be Thanks for having my back. Yeah. Betrayal thought. What? Hey, buddy. Hey. Betrayal five. Oh! Doctor Wen. Oh, my briefcase. Yeah. You know, I totally saw that coming. Mr. Peters, I know that having a gal urologist might seem a little uncomfortable, but the penis is just another excretory organ, so let's go ahead and take the stigma off it. Now, this is the length of the average penis. What? That seems about right. Good for you. I was just messing with Dr. Dorian over there. You know what? I'm not talking to any of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you luck. Oh. My. God. The next day started poorly. I only had eight hours until Kelso's awards dinner and someone else was boxing me out. Hey, Bob. I need to talk to you about my drug trial patient. Ah, oh, we lost the movie. Bob. I can see you. For God's sake, you're three-dimensional. Bob, I'm physically touching your arm now. Oh, come on, I know you're here. Oh, hi, Perry. What can I do for you? The next morning, I braced myself for Elliot's odd brand of revenge. And there it was. Did you individually drain all my eggs? Morning. Fine, I'll just have an apple. Oh, looking for this? How did you do that? <laughs> First the fat lady, now this. He's three, Perry. Do you have to be so blunt with him? I'm not gonna BS my own kid. What's the big deal? Hi, oh, yes, sport. Your skin is wrinkly. Yeah? Well, that shirt you're wearing is gay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.